hair reveal in three, two, one. How you doing? I mean, that's that's about it. I just I I let my hair grow for like six months and then I just cut it all off, rinse and repeat. So this is what I'm working with now, and in six more months, it'll be a mess once again, and then I'll chop it all off. Today we're making a sardine miso ball soup, and I don't know why I decided to make uh, the soup, because it's like 90 degrees outside. That's neither here nor there. You wanna learn how to make this hopefully delicious recipe, because this is the first time I've made it, and hopefully I don't mess it up horribly. So this recipe, I just wanna say one thing real quick before we get into it. It's so beautiful. Most recipes have paragraphs of useless information where it's like, oh, I found this recipe at 2 a.m. on a dark alley that I was walking down because I was in a new city and making friends and then we are like, let's go see the stars. And then I stumbled upon a old wizard who gave me this recipe. And now I'm sharing it with you. And I'm like, I don't care. <laughs> Just give me the recipe. Give me some like, maybe like tips, notes on like, do this different, possibly like variation, stuff like that. I'm good with all that. But these stories of like, th there's a cookie recipe that I've just recently made where the person talks about how they go hiking with these cookies and I'm like, I don't, okay, cool. Put that not in the recipe, put like someplace else. I, it's, okay, so this recipe, the reason why I'm excited about it is because it has two steps and also none of that background info. It's just a picture, ingredients, two steps, done. Granted, the, the two steps are a little bit overloaded, so I will break those out, but I respect the hustle. And to respect the recipe along with the hustle, we're gonna try and keep this short and sweet even though I've already rambled quite a bit. So we're going to run through the ingredients and then get into cooking. We're gonna start with the sardine balls. It calls for sake, but cooking sherry is a alternative and I didn't feel like buying a whole bottle of sake. White miso. Potato starch, or once again, if you don't have it, corn starch works in a pinch. Two tins of sardines, grated ginger, one egg beaten, salt. And for the soup, kombu, bonito flakes, tofu, mirin, soy sauce, salt, and five green onions. So the first step is to make these sardine balls, and that involves just taking everything in the sardine ball ingredients list putting it in a food processor, turning it on, and then waiting until it's smooth. Then obviously, like once you finish that, you wanna put them in like a bowl and put them in the fridge because you don't need them right away. So you probably could do this step like in the middle of some of the future steps because there's a few of like, wait 15 minutes, let cook for five minutes, let cook for three minutes, stuff like that. So you could probably fit that in there. But this is the order that the recipe gives it in. So I'm just telling you in that order. Now the second step, which they list is just make soup. I will break it out and I'm not gonna like change any of the steps. I'm pretty much just hitting enter at the end of a sentence when a new step comes along. Cause it's like, I don't, I, I understand the like make the sardine ball, make the soup kind of beautiful symmetry there. But the make the soup step is like four steps combined together. Like you should have split that out a little bit, but I'll do that for you and just kind of, I guess, be mindful. I mean, I just didn't want to overload it all into like one because that would be a lot going on. So the first step of the second step, I don't know why I phrased it that way, is to put the kombu in uh, six cups of water and just let it soak for 15 minutes. 
so it's gonna kind of absorb all that, well I guess the kombu's gonna seep out into the water is probably how that actually interaction is gonna go. And then once that 15 minutes is up, we're going to turn on the heat and let it, like bring it to a boil. The next step is going to be to remove it from heat and then add in the bonito flakes. I tried to weigh them out because the recipe calls for one ounce. And so I got out my kitchen scale and I'm like, I have like a little cup where I'm like, okay, like we're gonna put these in for one ounce. And then as I'm like pouring them, I'm like, these are super light. Like I'm actually gonna probably need like a, a bigger bowl. And then it dawned on me to like maybe look at the packaging to see how much is even in there. Cause then I could just do like, oh, is it, is it two ounces? Is it three ounces? I can just do like half, I can do a third, something like that. Uh, the bag is one ounce. So it's just the whole bag is going in. So I was trying to measure, I was, just try, I was trying to make things complicated when they didn't need to be. So dump the whole bag in there if it's the same size bag that I got. And then we're going to let that sit for five minutes and then strain the soup that we have going on and return the liquid, like the broth, back to the pan. The next step is going to be to bring the broth to a simmer over medium heat and then we're going to, the recipe states to use two spoons. It doesn't say how to use the two spoons so I'm assuming it's going to be some kind of like pincer action to put in like the sardine balls so you're just I guess going to scoop from the bowl that we have and then just like gently put them in to the uh, simmering broth. I'm guessing it's just like to ease it in so you're not just like dunking it. And then importantly, it says don't stir. So just let it cook for uh, three minutes and hands off. So just drop them all in three minutes. We, we are this close to being done. And finally, we just want to stir in some tofu, the mirin soy sauce, and then, you know, serve up and garnish with green onions. All right, so here we have it. Obviously, I can't show you because it's a liquid and it'll just flow out of the bowl, but I'll put a picture that I took it, it may or may not be the thumbnail because this is not the cutest of, a, of dishes that I made. The fish balls, or the, the sardine balls I should say, effectively have disintegrated. There's like lumps in there, but there is definitely a lot that did not stay together, which kind of disappoints me because I, I was looking forward to like this like clear broth with those kind of mixed in there. So I'm hoping that it tastes better than it looks and it smells good, so there is hope there still. Let's give this a taste and see how it uh, stacks up. That is hot. Now with my hand safely protected from the hot bowl, we're good to go for the taste test. I'm trying to figure out the words to kind of phrase this correctly because it tastes good and I feel like if I had different expectations, I would probably like it a little bit more because the sardine balls that are, you know, floating within there, I don't know why in my head I was expecting them to be like substantial when all we did was just blend together a number of ingredients and then drop it in boiling water. So when you take a bite out of it, it just kind of like dissolves almost. It has great flavor, like I think it's like that miso in there just gives it a great like umami, delicious flavor. Just that texture I was not expecting and kind of threw me off. 
but also this is a dish that like if you don't like fish or things that taste fishy don't don't have this because I mean fish is throughout the entire thing like the bonito flakes are smoked tuna so that just gives the broth a very fish taste to it which is good I was just like I don't know I don't know what I was expecting I think just like based on the color of my head I'm used to like chicken broth so it was just a number of uh, kind of missed expectations so I, I feel like if I kind of come at this again being like okay this is what I'm expecting it'll probably be a lot better the the dissolved sardine balls that's an issue that needs to be solved I think but beyond that it's a delicious dish you just need to kind of be expecting what's going into your mouth because <laughs> I don't it's just I haven't really made or had anything like this before so my expectations were based on like oh this is the color of chicken broth oh uh, like these look like meatballs so I'm expecting them to be like you have to bite to get through them and those combined factors just led a very odd experience of that first bite but I think now that I kind of know what's going on I should be good to go I don't know if there's like ways to improve it like I feel like if you could figure out a way to make those more like substantial like I don't know if you can like fry them off or something like that that might be kind of cool because then they won't break down when you drop them in or maybe I was just dropping them in the wrong way I don't know something I, I must this is a I did something wrong kind of a deal but I'm just thinking of ways to to improve it and like sitting here letting it settle it looks a lot nicer now that all of the sardine bits are at the bottom so you have that broth on the top so maybe I should have waited before taking the pictures to let that happen you live and you learn but I would say overall give this a go it's it's delicious just you have to set those expectations for yourself before going into it so on that note bye mom still not dead See you.